From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here is the one name storm out in the Atlantic right now. Tropical Storm Franklin has winds of 60 miles per hour gusts up to 70. It is moving towards the east northeast at 6 miles per hour. And you'll notice it is going to take a little bit of a turn more towards the north and west and eventually towards the northeast, possibly becoming our second hurricane of the 2023 season and maybe gaining some strength and becoming a category two storm. We're watching this area here, a medium chance out in the uh, basically the central Atlantic and then the north central Atlantic, low chance for this to develop. This was Emily, something a little bit closer to home that we're going to be paying close attention to is this area is going to be moving looks like towards the Yucatan Peninsula and or the western part of Cuba. Hurricane Center gives us a high chance of further development over the next seven days as it moves generally towards the north and maybe towards the northeast moving into parts of the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So this will be something we'll have to pay attention to, especially if you have any kind of interest in Florida. Here is the European model showing that area of low pressure. Now, it's still too early to say exactly what this may or may not be at this point, but you'll notice it does develop it into some type of tropical system. The GFS is a little bit of a wider low pressure system here, but you still can see a lot of rainfall and it's going to kind of move towards the north and east as well. So both of the models are kind of in line with showing something developing in the eastern half of the Gulf of Mexico here again kind of see the bluer model here. That is the European forecast model. And the red one here is the American still showing at least some type of low pressure system by the middle of the next work week somewhere in the eastern Gulf of Mexico or possibly into Florida. So again, something will continue to watch. So this is what to know about that little disturbance, we'll call it. Tropical depression is expected to form at some point, maybe as early as this weekend, high chance of development and interest in Florida should watch this pretty closely. So far we've had nine storms, one hurricane on average. At this point we would expect five storms and one hurricane. We did have that one unnamed storm. This was in January. You can kind of see it up there. So far though, here are our names. The last one was Harold and here are the rest of the names of the 2023 season. We'll continue to track the tropics and watch that area for possible tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll be tracking that all weekend long.